This video looks at the Totem Pole Field, an interactive art piece built on spatial augmented reality technology. In the Totem Pole Field, characters sleep until they are woken by a person walking up to them. <laughs> Once awake, characters will react to people in their presence. Sometimes, a totem will call back out to you. <laughs> and if you spend enough time to admire each one, We based our four characters on Swiss psychologist Carl Jung's character archetypes. The four archetypes that we used were the trickster, the magician, the lover, and the orphan. By drawing on these archetypes that appear in myths and stories around the world, we hoped that they would resonate in some form with the audience. The first half of the project was largely focused on finding the right materials to build the totem poles out of so that the projections and the calibrating would be as clean as possible while still retaining an interesting physical shape. We had spent time modifying the parts so they would all fit together, and each piece had to be painted white for the sake of clean projections. We used a number of tools such as laser cutters to cut out and build the wings of the right shape and size. We also used a 3D printer to make a small scale prototype model so that we could do testing while the real versions were still being built. A total of six projectors were used to cover the entirety of the four totem poles. A Microsoft Connect was used to track the positions of the audience members. This way, the totems would react differently based on the positions of the people. So that each character's sounds would be heard coming from that specific totem pole, a sound system which used four separate audio channels was integrated. C++ was the main programming language used in this project. This was the core which tied all the other elements together. Digital 3D model versions of the totem poles were created in Maya and then mapped over the real world versions using the spatial augmented reality calibration software. Concept art and the original graphics were created in Adobe Illustrator and then they were sent to Adobe After Effects where they were turned into full animations. FL Studio and Adobe Audition were used to create the music and sound assets. These sounds were then passed through Audacity to set them on the correct channels for the four channel sound system. This video has explored all the things that come together to make the totem pole field. Thank you for watching.